Hey, what's up guys? It's Talon. Today I'm just going to be showing you guys a spacing trick and, and just kind of explain what spacing is. Explain how to improve your spacing. So spacing is most useful on ADCs, but can really be useful on any champion. And basically what it is, is just autoing the enemy champion at your maximum range and immediately walking back so that they can't auto you back. This is basically used to sneak in extra autos and lane and such. And it's very useful just for, you know, sneaking in a little bit of extra damage. And there's a very simple trick that's going to make you much better at this that might seem obvious but from talking to people on my stream or high level players i've noticed that a lot of them don't actually do this so i think it could be a useful thing to just share with you guys it's not going to be a super long video we'll just get right into it we show you guys what i mean so the trick in question is basically just holding down your auto attack button and essentially getting as close to your max range as possible and as soon as you actually get in range it will auto attack for you since you're holding down the basic attack button rather than tapping it where if you're tapping it you have to guess what range you're actually getting at here you're holding it down so you can see the exact range you need to walk to you walk there and as soon as the person's there you immediately step backwards that way you're going to auto them you're going to walk back so they can't auto you auto you right after it's especially strong on high range champions because you can use it against a lower range champion so that the champion can't close the distance on you it's just really useful because I can just hold it down auto back up, you know, like that. Very simple trick, very useful. And now I'm going to go into some live footage of this to kind of show you guys better how to utilize it. So let's get into that. All right, guys. So I'm going to just show you some examples now of me using this trick. So it's really just going to be the first clip, just me utilizing the range advantage that I do have in the Caitlyn versus Lucian matchup to get as much poke off as possible. So anytime I can, again, like you see right there, I'm just immediately dragging my attack button onto him and then holding it down as soon as he's in range or even close to range so that I can see as soon as I'm in range, I'm just holding it down. It'll auto attack immediately. A very important thing when it does auto attack him is to immediately, as your character stops to auto attack, walk backwards so that they can't auto attack again on you as you saw there i did not walk backwards i get auto attacked he, he trades evenly with me however a lot of times with this range advantage all i really have to do is walk back as soon as i auto attack so you see every time auto attack walk back auto attack walk back auto attack walk back every time very simple that's mostly how this trick is really it's not a complicated thing it's a simple thing but it's very effective very underutilized by a lot of players where they'll be tapping it and while it may not seem like a big thing obviously if you you know tap your attack button a lot you still can space people like i'm doing the major difference is one that you see the actual line that you need them to cross because you're holding it so you see the circle to see where they need to go and then two it'll immediately do it automatically so you don't have to focus on oh i think i'm going to auto attack them now so i'll start walking back instead you can focus on your character and as soon as you see your character stop the auto attack you can immediately walk backwards do you just see me poking them down in lane consistently doing this simple trick? I'm holding it down so I know when they're in my range. And as soon as I get in their range, I just, it'll auto attack them and then I'll just walk backwards. That way they can't trade back on me. This strategy is most effective when you have a range advantage, such as a Caitlyn versus a Lucian matchup or an Ash versus a Kai'Sa, stuff like that. So that's really when you're going to utilize this the most. However, this is not the only situation you're going to utilize it in. And so as you've seen, again, you know, I just keep anytime they're in range poking them down by simply holding down the auto attack button and either portrait locking them or dragging my attack button onto them and, and from that alone lucian's like one hp while i'm still full hp if my nami had played better i mean we would be both full hp pretty much but anyways that's about it for here we'll get into some examples with more close range matchups where it's like a Vayne versus Jin, isa versus Jin, and then also a melee versus melee matchup Okay, so now I'm going to show you guys a short little trick. Again, utilizing that same trick and just walking backwards the whole time. So you're going to watch here in a second. I'm going to get caught out. And all I'm going to do is continue to walk backwards while holding down the auto attack button. And what that does is means it means that I'm going to auto attack someone and it's going to immediately make my character walk back. I'm never letting go of either walking backwards or auto attacking. So you'll see right here. I just keep walking back, holding the auto attack button, never letting go. And I get as much DPS as possible while still moving my character as far across the map as I can. And while I don't get the kill, we get the double kill in lane because I kite back the Leona because she's too far out of position. And it was a mistake for me to get caught, but using that trick, I'm still able to get max DPS off while also running back as fast as possible. Okay, guys, so now I'm going to talk to you about how to utilize your support well so typically you want to be on an even line with your support that's very important for better trading overall so you're going to see here when we utilize the fact that 
they're out of position here so right here as you can see me and the nami are on a perfect line with each other meanwhile lulu is slightly behind and while that might, may not seem like a big deal what it means is that both me and nami can use our abilities on Jin and immediately kite backwards so one i'm using the fact that i'm holding my auto attack button down to hit him at max range and immediately walking backwards after i auto him and two i'm using the fact that my support is positioned on an equal line with me which essentially allows us to pressure the same member of the team while Lulu can't do anything and so you'll see here after Jin walks up tries to auto us takes too much damage he walks back while Lulu walks forward meaning that we can turn our attention to Lulu again having a two versus one situation created in the lane so we'll just start this here again show you guys what we're talking about and now Lulu steps up now I can auto her because she goes too far forward they're not online again and me and nami both just pressure the lulu if nami had autoed a couple more times there it would have worked better but she was a bit out of position as well so as you can see you just utilize that small advantage of them not being on an equal level playing field to just get multiple more autos in and win the trade overall so yeah that's one example of how to just utilize your support and i'll talk about the final example here in a second all right guys so the last example is going to be a melee versus melee matchup now you might think you're only able to do this if you're playing a ranged champion, but it actually works as well with melee. As you can see here already, I walked up, I held down my auto attack button, I autoed him and he didn't. Simple as that. Now of course Wukong does have range anytime that you use an ability. So I get free auto attack range every time I use an ability, which is why you can see anytime I click my Q for example, I'll walk up and I'll hold my auto attack and it'll auto attack him before he can ever auto attack me since again I have longer auto attack range than him. You're just going to see me utilize this throughout this lane to really just gain an easy advantage and, and end, up, end up winning the lane. So again here, I'm walking up, I'm holding it down, I'm pressuring him whenever he comes near, trying to bait out his E. Now I can go in and trade since he used his E. And that's another very important thing, is you want to try to trade with people when you know they're not going to want to trade with you. That way, they'll walk back while you can trade autos onto them while they're simply running back. So again, he uses his E, I dash onto him, I get multiple trades off by utilizing the edge of my range, my auto attack range. While he's running backwards, I'm still chasing him down. He's not able to trade any auto attacks back onto me while I'm able to get two or three off on him. Of course, I have the extra auto range. Again, same thing, he wastes his E, I go in, I just use my auto attack range. You see me walk up here, two free autos because I'm holding down my attack button as soon as I'm in range of him. I auto attack him he has to walk forward to ever auto attack me in which case I get even more autos off so even if he does try to auto me it's just a losing trade for him so just already got him about half health just from getting probably 10 more autos than him off on me he's gotten maybe one or two I've gotten like 10 or 12 I'm not counting but probably roughly around there now because of the lane state i have to be a bit more passive i'm trying to get this lane to crash so that it'll bounce back onto me and be in the middle part of the map so that's why i'm shoving it here uh jacks ends up staying so we get that probably gonna just look for a back here and we'll see what ends up going on so yeah we're just gonna back there so that's a good example of how to just yeah space very easily onto wukong and do a melee matchup any champion in a melee matchup it works just like that pretty simple all right so in summary a couple main points for this facing video first of all make sure you're holding down your auto attack range that way you'll be able to see your auto attack range which makes it easier to get at your max range and auto attack people as soon as you get in your max range and immediately as your character stops auto attack walk back that way they can't auto attack back onto you then we went over some examples of different lanes where we just you know talked about main points such as Try to stay on an even line with your support so that you guys can trade on to a single member while the enemy support is out of position or the enemy ADC is out of position. Just make sure you're focusing one member with your teammates and staying on an equal line with your, uh, with your ADC or support. And then if you're in a melee matchup, you can do the same thing. Just make sure you're holding down your auto attack button and look for times where they'll be scared to trade with you due to lack of an ability such as a Jack C being down, where then you can just walk up to them, keep running forward, and if they ever walk forward, they're obviously just going to be taking more autos from you since you have better abilities to trade with while their abilities are on cooldown. 
so if you have any other you know things you want me to do for future videos or if you have problems with this video maybe the music's too loud maybe you want more or less situations to be gone over maybe you want me to go more in depth do more editing whatever it is just let me know in the comments below you know if you want to like the video that'd be awesome and see you guys later